Mario Draghi's government remains on standby. After offering to step down, President Mattarella refused to accept his resignation. The Italian Prime Minister will have to seek support for a motion of confidence on July 20th. This comes as Draghi survived a vote of confidence at the Senate on Thursday, as a new decree on anti-crisis measures was approved. But former Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte's five-star movement, a key member of the National Unity Government, refused to support the decree. But the former head of the European Central Bank has insisted repeatedly that the government cannot continue without their support. The parties that continue to support Draghi consider Five Stars' move a mistake. These are unpredictable, unimaginable consequences provoked by irresponsible choices of a political party which is only damaging the Italian people. Prime Minister Mario Draghi's government rules well. It is good that the government remains. The far right say Draghi should step down. Italy is in a storm, in a delicate economic and social situation. With war and high energy costs, inflation, we cannot have an immovable government. Draghi's broad-coalition government, which includes parties of the right, the left and the centre, was designed to help Italy recover from the coronavirus pandemic. However, as the war in Ukraine approaches the five-month mark and as the economic crisis worsens, Italy may once again be left ungoverned. The next few days will be crucial to understand whether or not political parties will be able to stay united. That's uh, at least until next Wednesday when Mario Draghi is expected to brief Parliament and the government will be put through a confidence vote as requested by President Mattarella when he uh, rejected Mario Draghi's decision uh, to resign. Um, but we also know that Mario Draghi was very clear when he said that uh, the government is not, he feels that the government is not united as it used to be and clearly it's pointless to continue uh, leading uh, the current uh, coalition. Uh, the next few days will be crucial to understand also uh, whether instead of Mario Draghi, President Mattarella will be forced to appoint a new prime minister who's going to lead the country and the government until the next general election, which clearly could take place earlier than expected, uh, as early as next autumn. Giorgio Orlandi for Euronews in Rome.